I feel like I look crazy with this like mock neck style sweatshirt on and this towel on my head. I just got out of the shower and I did some skincare. I did like a little ice let me grab it out of the freezer. This is what I use today. I've kind of been loving this. Again, I bought this, I think like a year and a half ago. I used it on and off. And then I bought the Skinny Confidential Ice Roller, which I love and was using for a really long time. And I've kind of been switching off between the Skinny Confidential Ice Roller, dunking my face in like a bucket of ice cold water and this. But this is something that's just so easy. Kind of looks like a pill. But it looks like this. It does create like a dome shape of ice and I've obviously used it down to this and every once it gets down to probably like a little bit longer I probably have one more use out of this I'll fill it up with water it has a little hole at the top to put the water in obviously latches doesn't spill anywhere and then it freezes and the next morning you have a nice little ice dome to ice your face so I've been doing this every morning even on work days I've been waking up a little bit earlier to try and get like a good solid morning routine down so I've been using this which i really like for de-puffing it's actually just better than an ice roller and it's really cheap i got it off amazon i can link it if you're interested i've been really on my new face i got this on black friday they were doing like a deal and i've been loving it i haven't had any issues with it love it i feel like i've been trying my best to consistently use it every single day and in december i kind of fell off wasn't using it all the time would like to say in January I've been using it consistently every single day and I think it takes at least like eight weeks to 12 weeks to even notice a difference but it really helps depuff. I noticed immediately immediately after using it how sculpted my cheekbones are it's the craziest thing I've ever used so really have been liking this I can link it as well definitely a pricier tool I'm gonna go put this back in the freezer so while I was doing icing and my new face, I had my hair up in this towel. This towel is by Crown Affair. I treated myself to kind of a lot of things from their line for Christmas and one of them being this hair towel. And the first thing I noticed about using a hair towel, and you can honestly buy one off Amazon, I just bought this one because I bought like a whole set off Crown Affair and it had the towel in it. I really have been actually liking it I find if I leave my hair up in like a normal towel one it like pulls so much on my hair because it's so heavy and I know that can contribute to breakage and things because when your hair is damp or wet and it's like being pulled on it can obviously have breakage so that's one of the main things I notice after using this it's a little bit more lightweight another thing is, is I usually don't leave my hair in a towel that long before using this because I always find that it like made my hair look i don't know how to describe it and i don't know if anyone else can relate to this but if i would leave my hair in like a regular towel for like 30 minutes it like would not look as clean or as good i don't know how to describe it so i would only leave my hair in like a towel for five maybe 10 minutes before like brushing through and putting product in so i can leave my hair in this towel for much longer and i feel like it still looks really clean i don't know how to describe it does anyone know what i'm talking about when i say that if you leave your hair in like a regular towel for like 30 minutes it just doesn't look as clean and it feels like weird i don't know how to describe it. i don't know what i'm trying to say but if you can relate <laughs> let me know um but i like the way that this dries the ends of my hair i do have a problem with the top part of my head it just is so tangled and knotted and i don't know if it's the technique that i use when i wash my hair i kind of like wash my hair like this and i it may contribute to this part of my hair kind of looking tangled but i really like how it dries the ends of my hair i don't know so i really have been liking using a hair towel i don't know until you try one i always thought oh that's like silly like you don't need an extra towel for your hair but i feel like it makes the biggest difference and like i mentioned i I have like the whole crown affair line basically except for like a few things but i've been using their leave-in conditioner honestly for a while and it lasts so long i do only wash my hair um twice a week but i've been using their leave-in conditioner i also have been using the k18 leave-in repair mask which i really like i don't use it all the time i'm just gonna brush through my hair and then let my hair air dry a little bit longer before I blow dry it. I'm going to go through my skincare. Also going to do, put in my little Acton Acre cold press.
scalp serum in as well. I've been using this every single day for probably five weeks now. This is my second bottle. Let me show you how they came. I bought this around the holidays and it came in like a three pack of, I think these are one fluid ounce. And it was like around the same price as like the two, two point something fluid ounce. It was like a couple dollars more for a pack of three of these and it totaled like three fluid ounces. So I went with like the three pack and the first bottle lasted me a little over a month. So this is like a three month supply, which I feel like is the perfect amount of time to really notice if a product makes a difference or if it generates any type of hair growth. I have noticed some baby hair growth through here. They're really blonde pieces. So I'm really trying to focus on growing more thickness and just honestly more hair right around here and i've been using this really liking it the one thing that scared me most about using a scalp serum is is it gonna make my hair look like greasy or oily or just like not look the same and it dries normally throughout your hair or scalp and doesn't make it look any different so i've been using it every single day like i don't miss a day i usually apply it at night since I washed my hair today this morning I'm gonna apply it after and just massage it in and I was using the Vegamore one um, but I think I mentioned like a couple vlogs ago that I was influenced by someone on TikTok to use this because her hair is so healthy and long so I'm on bottle two of that for skincare I'm going in with this Zio Health complexion renewal pads and what I do is I cut them in half to help them last longer I feel like I do this with all little complexion pads is cut them in half to really get the most because I feel like I don't need like a full thing. And then it gives me 60 uses instead of 30. Okay, so next product is by Zio Skin Health again and it's the Bright Alive. It's a skin brightener. I have a lot of freckles and some like pigmentation right here that I've been trying to brighten. I had to cut my hair back. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Road Glazing Milk. I really do love this. Um, people say that there's no active ingredients in this in any of the Road products, but I really do like that. I feel like it's a good base for hyaluronic acid to soak in because it, your skin needs to be damp. So then I take the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid, and I'm trying to use this product up before I start using the Merit great skin so i'm trying to be good about using my product before i buy new it's like a new year's goal of mine i feel like last year i was really good about using up products before buying new so we're carrying it into this year next i've been using the kiehl's ultra facial repair cream and this is one of the best moisturizers that i've ever used in my life i do skin cycling and a majority of the time throughout the week my skin gets a little bit like peely and very dry because I use retinol and like an AHA BHA acid and then by like the third day I kind of like have a little bit more dryness because of the products and with this I find less dryness throughout the week throughout skin cycling throughout using those products than ever I always use like just a basic moisturizer honestly um the la roche posay or the cerave moisturizer i've always just used and since incorporating this i have less dryness my skin is more like plump hydrated i just really love this product it is a heavier moisturizer but it layers really great under makeup i've had no complaints using it it's one of the best moisturizers i've ever used in my life and I have combination skin. It can be drier with like obviously certain product use. And it can be a little bit more oily when it's like hot outside or in the summertime. So it kind of just depends. But this has been such a lifesaver and such a game changer. And I'm always the type of person to just buy like the cheapest option and just work with what I got. I always buy like the cheapest moisturizer, the cheapest cleanser. And... Um, just it's funny how it makes a difference if you just spend a little bit more money on like a better quality product really the benefits that you see i'm gonna do my eyebrows i've been doing this for a while um honestly using this product if you don't like the way that your 
my eyebrows are really long and they're curly so i need something to really hold them in place so i've been using the got to be invisible styling gel there's one that's white and i always get the invisible one because you can't see it sometimes the white one leaves like white particles on your face it doesn't move all day but i know some people who hate the feeling of this like on their face or on their eyebrows like i understand but truly really the best product ever i don't think i can ever go back to using just like a basic eyebrow gel it just like doesn't hold my eyebrows the same after my eyebrows are done i'm gonna go in with the zeo skin um 10 vitamin c self-activating i do this right before sunscreen and that's just also a, a rule that they follow with how to apply this product they say to apply as your last step before sunscreen and this is the sunscreen that i'm gonna be using i've honestly just been trying to use this product up um because i prefer the elta md sunscreen over this but i'm just trying to get through this container this is also it doubles as a moisturizer with spf and that's what i've been doing for skincare i feel like my skin finally adjusted to the biotin in my collagen powder so i've been using the one up nutrition i've been using one up nutrition products i was actually just thinking about this the other day when i placed my order i've been using one up nutrition products for over two and a half years which is crazy i swear by their stuff and the first collagen that i bought from them didn't have any biotin in it and then i just like started using collagen again and started using their collagen and their new formula has biotin in it I um, obviously was going through little tiny bumps, little breakouts, and I feel like I finally just got over it. And I've been using the collagen since November, and it's the end of January, so I feel like it took a full three months to kind of get through the biotin little bump issue and have my body adjust. Biotin has always given me such issues with little bumps. I know immediately what is going on when I start taking biotin. I knew it's biotin. When I used to drink Celsius a couple of years ago, I stopped drinking it because I would just constantly have these little tiny bumps. And I think just consistently taking it and getting through that whole little process of your body adjusting, it was worth it. Trying to just grow my hair, work on hair health, and I really wanted to incorporate collagen again. I used to take collagen all the time, every single morning, and I did it for multiple years. I used to take the Vital Proteins collagen. One of my favorites, then I took Modare, which was like the liquid collagen. If you've been around for a while, you remember when I took that. It's very pricey for a collagen powder, and I don't really, I can't justify spending that much money on it, so I stopped taking it and since have been taking the one of nutrition collagen and really enjoying it so um my hair grows like a weed truly i am always getting like one or two inches cut off when i go get my hair done and i get my hair done every like two months so um hair grows really fast just trying to thicken out the scalp and things and work on just like overall hair health but i'm just really happy that i finally got through the biotin process because yeah, I've been drinking collagen in my coffee every single morning and love one of nutrition products. So I wanted to try and see if eventually my skin would stop and it did. So anyways, that's my skincare. Just a little update on some new skincare, some products that I've been using and just some things that I wanted to keep you updated on and things like that. So I'm gonna let my hair air dry a little bit more and then I'm gonna go in with a blow dryer, style it, and finish getting ready for the day.
I just got home from getting coffee with Maya. We went to Deeply Coffee, which is in downtown. It's a really good, cute coffee shop, but I didn't get any food there. And I wanted to make a little breakfast burrito. So I'm using the Siete almond flour tortillas, this cheese, some eggs, and then I'm using this turkey sausage. And I feel like it'll be really yummy. These are just very hard to roll, but I like them. They have good ingredients and it's what I have. I don't have any other tortillas. So I'm gonna make a little breakfast sandwich, put away some laundry, wash the bed sheets, things like that. Okay, I'm just doing some laundry. I'm hanging up my clothes on the drying rack that I have. And I feel like increasingly over time, I've started hanging up literally everything to dry, even all of my sweatshirts and crewnecks to help them last longer and keep them softer. I literally hang up everything now, unless it's like a crew neck that I don't necessarily care if it kind of starts to get a little bit like dingy and not as soft. Some crew necks I wear like to the gym and I sweat in and I don't really care like just how they feel, but other ones, like I want them to last and stay pretty nice. So I think those to dry and also like all my sweaters that I wear to work and a lot of my pajamas, of course, all my leggings. I always hang up my work pants to dry, but I feel like just increasingly I've started to hang up more stuff, like even these sweatshirts from the bar, which I have dried in the past, but I want them to last and stay like soft and in good condition and not fall apart because you're obviously spending money on these. Even things that I don't spend a lot of money on, I find myself not drying because I want them to last even longer even though they were like 10, $15. But even, yeah, my pajamas, which I don't know if anyone can relate to these. These are from, I don't know how to say the brand correctly, so correct me if I'm wrong, Durf Avenue, Durf Avenue. I find these pajamas are the worst quality ever and like this is nothing against the brand, even though I'm saying negative things about their PJs, I've never bought anything else. I can't say anything on their other clothes, but their PJs, I have two PJ sets and they're the worst quality ever, literally ever. I haven't worn this PJ set that much and I feel like it's already looking so dingy. I've dried it maybe like three times and then I stopped drying it because after the third time of washing it, it started to not look as good. And for the price, I feel like it should last a little bit longer and be a little bit better quality, but I don't love the quality of these. And when you hang them to dry, they're just not that soft and they're kind of like scratchy. So they're not my favorite PJs. I still obviously wear them to bed because I rotate through my PJs and I'm not gonna like throw them out or get rid of them, but they just start to look not as nice after even just a couple of washes. Has anyone else purchased Jarf Avenue stuff and can agree? Just like don't love the quality. I will never purchase another PJ set from them ever. And I heard that the quality on the Amazon ones that look exactly like this are like amazing quality and they're half the price of one item. So the items are sold separately and they're just like not good quality they're super see-through which is fine because it's a pj set but i don't know already looking dingy after a couple of washes is just crazy to me so i stopped drying them to help them last a little bit longer it's just crazy i literally hang everything to dry these days it seems which is good because this stuff yeah definitely lasts so much longer and the crew necks and hoodies stay so soft i'm just putting on my laundry and washing the bed sheets I'm gonna go to the grocery store soon. I think I'm filming a Sunday night routine tonight. So I'll be starting up a new vlog to just to try and get more content this weekend. Yeah, I know probably in the next couple of months I'm gonna take a weekend off of vlogging, which will be like the first weekend in a couple of years that I take off from not filming. And I just wanna make sure that I pre-film some stuff, even though this is pretty far in advance. Um, it will at least put couple videos so I'm not missing a week of uploading because I try and upload at least one video every week or every five to seven days but yeah I don't know when exactly I'm gonna stop this video 
and start up the other one probably not until later when I start like meal prepping and doing like my whole entire night routine. It's basically like an every night routine, but some things are different just because it's Sunday and I'm trying to prep for the work week. But I just got inspired because I shared kind of like my morning ish routine in this video kind of like things that I do each morning so I thought it'd be I don't really show like morning or night routines on here so I definitely want to share some things that I've been doing so I thought maybe filming like a Sunday night routine would be great so that's my plan for today now I had to log on to work for a little bit which I knew I would have had to log on to work sometime this weekend because basically I mean long story short we're doing like a conversion application for someone and there's a deadline so I took my computer home with me on Friday so I knew that I was gonna have to log on and do something this weekend so I logged on for a little bit and did some work after I organized my closet which felt really good. I like re-hung everything back up, took everything off, took everything out of the baskets, refolded everything, which felt pretty nice. This like reflection is bothering me and it's like in my eyes. I'm heading to the grocery store. I'm probably gonna end off this vlog soon um, to start up my Sunday night routine. It's 3.30, so it's like late afternoon, about to get into the evening time and yeah. Um, I also changed because it's a little bit too warm for the Sherpa jacket that I was wearing this is like annoying the hell out of me I just got home from the grocery store and I'm putting all the groceries away but new item this purely Elizabeth chocolate chip cookie granola it was buy one get one free I took a little clip in um, Publix and they had three flavors I forget the flavors but you saw in the video clip the flavors and I wanted to get the chocolate chip so I'm gonna taste test it I'm so excited about this. Really good. 10 out of 10. This is this would be so good just on its own, honestly eating it. But I'm definitely gonna put this on my yogurt this week. This flavor is so good. I need to try the other flavors, but I'm so excited about this. Definitely go out and pick it up. And if you have a Publix in your area, actually it probably won't be on sale. <laughs> by the time this video goes up but anyways i wanted to go ahead and end off this video here i'm going to start up a sunday night routine video so definitely stay tuned for that one but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next one bye